Zero Blast immediately jumping onto the Ken. And on the other side, of course, is going to be PB Geki going with the Vega. I find it interesting that uh, Geki has opted more in the recent history to go with Bloody Kiss as his V-Trigger. Allegrias, I think, might have some practical uses, but I'm not entirely sure. Here we go, winner's final first to three. PB Geki and Sarah Blast. Geki known for his patient neutral. Nice shimmy, gets the forward roll in corner carry to start. Nice DP on the stance switch, gonna force some pressure off of him for Sarah Blast. Jockeying in neutral once again. Dash up short. Nice patience from Cerroblast. He's just waiting for a moment with which to punish Geki for throwing out a button. But right now, all Geki overhead gets punished. No full conversion for Geki. Just a stand roundhouse. Nothing more. Cerroblast also building that V trigger. Lands the overhead. Tries a second. Nice block. Anti-air Crouch Fierce goes for the shimmy, stand short challenge from Geki. This will be challenge as well, Crouch Fierce, cross under, nicely done from Cerro Blast. Gets the full target combo and corner carry Tatsu. Again, going for the Crouch Fierce, looking for the anti-air on the FBA. Nothing going there for Geki. Geki looking for something to convert. This is not punishable. Geki just backing up. I think he was trying to bait a DP there. Now, EX Dragon Punch for Cerro Blast. Gonna start pushing. Fakes the corpse hop. Nice back roll from Geki, but Geki finds himself in trouble. Challenges with the bloody kiss. Nicely done from Geki. Challenging the dive Tatsu. That looked really good. Goes for an ASE, doesn't quite find the mark. Fireballs for Cerro Blast to try and keep Geki at bay. Gets the jump, not quite magical. Nice block from Cerro Blast. Meaty Roundhouse, and now to the corner. Geki winning in neutral right now. Poking, counter poking. There's another counter poke. This time gets caught. Crush counter Roundhouse for Cerro Blast. Look to push the corner. Execution error. Wanted EXDP, got EX Fireball instead. Cerro Blast fully charged on V Trigger. Gonna look for one hit to confirm it. Gets the forward throw. Gonna start pressuring Geki in the corner. Goes for the jump. Nice cross under walk from Geki. Back to neutral, stand forward from Geki, getting that poke, gets the slide, nice read. Tries to bait a DP, instead gonna get caught, Heat Rush now on for Cerro Blast. Fakes the overhead, gets caught with the three framer and the confirm from PB Geki. One nothing for Geki. Going into game number two, Geki. Plowing ahead, no need to change the game plan. Cerro Blast missed execute, but then finds the corner carry on the Tatsu, gets the overhead. Oh my goodness, straight up massacre. Here comes Cerro. Goes for the second meaty overhead, mistimed it slightly, one frame early. And now finds himself in the corner, but a huge life lead. Good punish from Cerro Blast as well. Spends the cash, EXDP finishes off this round, Cerro Blast opening Geki up. Opting not to play Geki's game, opting to play a more uh, fast paced, more aggressive style is Cerro Blast building meter, forcing Geki into making these decisions. Nice punish. Again, target combo, gonna get to the corner and again, threatening stun once again. The Shimmy Kami, the step back, the stand fierce, gonna find a finish. Perfect KO, seven golden letters, and Cerro Blast immediately fires back. Absolute dominance there in game number two for Cerro Blast. Geki needs to adjust now because Cerro Blast will not let him play this buttons pokey game anymore. Double O shorts from Cerro Blast. Gonna continue to push. That's gonna get punished. Full on target combo into Tatsu for corner carry and now triple lights and damage. Another shimmy from the Shimikami. Gets the low short, finds the stun. Build some meter with those DPs. One more touch. Again, one frame early. 
Finds himself in the corner, but only needs one touch. Fireball to try and force Geki's hand. Nice from Geki, full on conversion. Try, oh no, missed the juggle. Was not prepared for the wake up. EXDP, Serral Blast up around in game number three. Nice DP, anti-air from Serral Blast. Another shimmy, the shimmy Kami going to work. Pushes towards the corner. 10 seconds in. Controlling the action is Cerroblast with Punish with a jab. Nicely done. Magic jump for Geki. Gonna get out of here. Not opting to spend cash. Gonna wait. Waited on a throw and punished it accordingly. Back to mid screen. Fights back again towards mid screen. On the other side now. Geki FBA gonna spend his V trigger as well. Wake up Tatsu. Good punish from. Zero Blast, and again, just pushing, and again, full on aggression, not giving Geki time to do anything. Zero Blast up 2 1 and trying to erase recent history. Let's see if Geki can find a way to adjust. Round one. Fight. Overhead from downtown immediately from Geki, or from Zero Blast, excuse me, get the DP. Gets another target combo DP as well. Gonna start pushing for damage. Gets the EX Fireball. Continuing to put on the pressure. Geki has to alleviate this somehow and not make mistakes. That V Trigger is the one that's not safe because he stays in place. No anti-air from Blast on that neutral jump. Looking for space to throw a Fireball. Dash up throw not there for Geki, just short. Tried to get Blast to commit to a button. That anti-air crouch fear still solid for Blast. Doing it again. Dash up, command throw, makes up time for Geki. What's it gonna be? That's not safe, good check from Geki with the stand short. FBA into the Spanish-German suplex. Gets the job done. Round two. Nice crush counter sweep, set up for Cerroblast. Walks forward, tries to throw, good tech. Geki now. Trying to get through. Nice anti-air. Stays in front. Does Cerro Blast stays ambiguous. Gets the corpse off. Gonna go back to mid-screen. Going the other way. Back hell wheel for the stun. Coming back. Typical Cerro Blast combo. Gets the job done. EXDP to finish the round. Solid answer from Cerro Blast, who is now on match point. Final round. Stand short catches. There goes the doll head. Stand short confirmed from Serral Blast. Triple light confirmed for Geki. Neutral jump gets him caught. DP in the corner and welcome to Serral Blast country. Gets the shimmy. Gonna get the stun or not. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't get the stun there. Crouch Fear stays in front and that will do it. Serral Blast moving on to Grand Final. PB Geki will have to wait the winner of this next matchup. Armor Gaming Gears, Tagashi Azrael here with you. It's late in Vancouver, but we've got two more matches at least, or three more matches.